19-year-old Chadney Allen, his 17-year-old sister Kara, murdered in their basement this morning. Police sources telling Local 4 News they were shot execution style. Two other children, half-sisters, placed in this car, a hose put inside from the exhaust, and the children killed with carbon monoxide. Then their bodies returned to their beds. This was the scene Dearborn Heights police responded to after the father called them this morning. You're watching the most shocking and informative LRJ TV news. Hello, I'm LRJ from LRJ TV News. America tragedy has struck in our country. Let's not waste no more time. Uh, let's go. Father called police telling the dispatcher on the line, I just killed my whole family. So police came out here and here's a look at this live scene behind us. What police are working with. It's been a pretty slow scene, a very calm and quiet scene because police already have their suspect in custody. In fact, he was waiting for them on the porch when they got here at about 1:20 this morning. Police got inside that home and they found two teenagers shot and killed. They were dead in the basement, two other small children in the home and a mother was were taken to the hospital. Those two small children did die. That mother is alive. She's listed in critical condition. We're told that she was stabbed and shot. So that man gave himself up to police right away. We've been speaking with neighbors out here. They tell us that this family was quiet, that they kept to themselves. They had family functions like birthday parties, but they were a nice family, good neighbors. Uh, here's what they had to say to us. Just two or three weeks ago, they had a birthday party. They had balloons and all that stuff out there. They've been working on the house the last few, probably the last couple of months. They had new doors, new garage door. They had a bunch of stuff done to the house. So, yeah, you don't think nothing about that. If you take a look here, the children of the neighborhood have been bringing teddy bears for the makeshift memorial on the front uh, step of the house. But the neighbors are telling us here all of this is over the fact that divorce papers were filed yesterday. Faith Green survived the attempt on her life last night. Her children did not. Four-year-old Kaylee and five-year-old Coy Green died inside this car parked in the driveway. Their father allegedly hooked up a hose, started the car, and ran the exhaust fumes inside. After the children were dead, we're told, he carried their dead bodies back into their bedrooms and into bed. Police found 17-year-old Kara Allen and her older brother, 19-year-old Chadney Allen, known as CJ, bound and shot execution style in the basement. They were Faith Harris's children from her first marriage. Dearborn Heights Police Captain Michael Petrie described the early morning scene that left first responders shaken to the core. I made contact with the male suspect at the residence who uh, stated that he had shot the members of his family that were inside the home. Neighbor Michelle Carson was up when police arrived to arrest her neighbor who had called 911 on himself. She called it an eerie scene. Just like somebody that got pulled over in their car and put him under arrest, it was real calm. Michelle says she is stunned, considering she knew the whole family well and resents being fooled by the father. Now that I know more of him, he's not right, you know, but he seemed like he was a good dad and a loving father. He seemed like he was doing all the right things, you know. I guess there's two sides to every story. I always heard his, and I always heard him talk bad about her. Faith Green is listed in stable condition at Beaumont Oakwood Hospital this afternoon. And I said earlier that the divorce papers were filed yesterday. That's not correct. They were filed a month ago, but they were served on the father here yesterday, we are told by neighbors. Uh, they also say in, in the neighborhood here that the family had only lived here with the father for about the last nine months, that they had been away for quite some time and then moved in here, uh, having first getting here in 2008 when the father had gotten out of prison on parole. Now, there's much more to that story. Are having a really rough day today. A lot of friends of Kara Allen and CJ Allen. Uh, CJ was a recent graduate of Southfield High School. Kara was a senior here and before here they were in the Farmington Hills School District where Kara still has a lot of friends there. She has friends here, very popular, a fun girl and today the news hit them very hard. In the school it's like it's awkwardly quiet and it's just the everybody hearts are like very very broken at this moment. Kara was honestly like an angel sent on earth like she was the sweetest person and she told me she was she said we have to catch up sometime and it hurts that we've never we never get to catch up when people do things like this 
it is truly to me, and I can be wrong. I don't know the whole entire story, but what I do know is that a lot of times when you see things like this happen, it is a situation where it progresses to be where it's at. These children are no longer here. They're gone. They was taken from this world by a person who they seem to love and trust. I'm LRJ. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Why? Because you be glad you did. I love you all. Peace.